going on here. Thus, we may know that there are five essentials for victory. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. This is sort of like when we were doing Napoleon and, and just about everything in the book you can just stop and think about. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's also sort of like jujitsu in that what you learn, it's, once you hear it, it seems super obvious, but why aren't you thinking about it all the time? Right. And why do you make stupid mistakes that betray that rule? Yeah. Because it's not in front of your mind. Right. Yeah, it's like I said, the two, when you're emotionally charged, it's, you just handle things way different. Which kind of, it's kind of ironic in a way because it, that's what makes this so effective when people normally handle themselves in that emotional way. Yes. And then so if you handle yourself in this way, that's the very thing that makes it effective. Yeah, the underlying theme to this, the, uh, the, which hasn't been said. I mean, he doesn't address this the way I addressed it, the way I talk about it in our book, the way we talk about it on the podcast is the, the idea that you're talking about, which is the idea of detaching and not yes. being emotional so that you can do things. So that yeah. you can make good decisions. Yeah. Next, he will win who knows how to handle both superior and inferior forces. He will win whose army is animated by the same spirit throughout all ranks. So if you're in a leadership position and you got part of your team on board with the program, not good enough. Mm. You got to get the whole team on board with the program. That's who's going to win. He will win who prepared himself, prepared himself, waits to take the enemy unprepared. I'm just going to wait until you're not ready. Why would I square up? You know, why would I do that? If you're ready to fight me, I'm not going to go. Right. Let's just wait until you're not expecting it. Yeah. Along with that emotional kind of state that some people are in where they, where they don't exercise these types of strategies along with the emotional state is the egotistical oh. state you know the guy who's like hey i'm just gonna stand toe to toe and you're like all right that's tough that's that's you know that might that might make for a show and if you know in a fighting you know mma situation and if, but as far as the strategy to win that's again it, it's cool for the show but as far as winning actually winning um it, it might not be the best we'll just say that I, I would agree with you. Number five, he will win who has military capacity and is not interfered with by the sovereign. Victory lies in the knowledge of those five points. So that means you, you can't get micromanaged. If you're being micromanaged by, the, by higher powers, you're going to have problems. Mm-hmm. 